Hi, this is Chad at NoviSign, and I'm going to do a quick overview on the system, very high level, 10,000 foot view. NoviSign is a cloud-based digital signage platform that lets you create, edit, and manage content being displayed on any screen, kiosk, or display. To access the interface, you'd go to NoviSign.com, and in the upper right, we have login. This takes us to the online studio. Here, you'll be able to get to your content, make changes, and send the information to the screens. Notice here in the upper left, we have three pieces, creatives, playlists, and screens. In the creative section, that's step one. That's gonna be where you put together your content, make edits, browse through the templates, and uh, overall, put together your design. Second button here says playlist, that is step two. So once you have your content put together, you'd create a playlist. A playlist is a timeline of items, templates that you'd like to play. You can set recurring schedules, uh, control the play duration of the different slides, set expiration dates of when you want specific uh, messages or templates to play. Third button here is screens, that's step three. So once you have your playlist made, you can send it to either one screen at a time, or you can create groups of screens. Outside of this, we do have a management dashboard that lets you view the status of your screens, the playtime, um, the connectivity. We also have a global view, which gives you a bird's eye view of the screens themselves, where they're located, if they're connected, so green indicates they're online, they, they're receiving updates, orange means they're online, but they haven't had an update, and so on. As far as creating content, we have in the creative section here on the top, blue button below says create from template. If I select that, it takes us to the library of templates. You can either browse uh, through them and select one to create from scratch uh, or customize. So for now, I'm just going to build one from scratch, so I've selected that. Here's our canvas on the left are the widgets. Widgets are items that you can add onto the screen itself. We've got your text, you can add images, you can add videos, a slideshow that rotates through your content, scrolling tickers that move left to right or top to bottom of custom text, RSS feed, so that could be national headlines, sports, um, health tips, any RSS feed you can add. YouTube videos, so you can do a specific playlist, uh, specific uh, videos that you'd like to display using our YouTube widget. We have a Ustream, which enables a third-party streaming via the Ustream platform. Uh, weather forecast, so you can do five-day forecasts, individual forecasts, doesn't really matter, fully flexible. Uh, clock, we also have a countdown, so that would be uh, you know days till vacation, days till a specific holiday, what have you. Uh, shapes. We can also do a web page, so that's useful for displaying, say, Google Slides or pointing it to maybe a Google Form or any specific URL. Uh, next, we've got here is a web image that lets you display a web URL. Another really cool feature is our Unsplash integration that you can use with the web image, letting you pull from over 20,000 images that are professionally taken, royalty-free. FTP lets you pull from an FTP site touchscreen widget, no coding to put together a touchscreen interactive kiosk, a template within a template. You can do Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, uh, display specific hashtags, users, what have you. Nice thing with the social media widgets is it updates in real time as live social posts are made. We also have a virtual queue that can be used as a check-in system, so uh, the, the user can uh, take a number, and then on the screen, um, someone at the desk can can uh, flag the number and it will populate here on the screen now serving. We have a Yammer integration as well that lets you sync and display specific Yammer boards. And we have M3U8, which is a broadcasting style feed of live TV. As far as the widgets and how they work, it's drag and drop. So I've got my weather, click and drag. On the right, it says location, so I can change that. And I'm uh, just doing a quick high-level overview so you can see the functionality of the system. So I'm going to move my weather over. There we go. Drag and drop, very easy. I can do slideshow, make it as big as I want, upload my files, PNGs, JPEGs, whatever file you have by simply selecting upload. Then I can add my slides. 
So let's just say, for example, I've got my three pieces here. Upload expires to file formats. We take PNG, JPEG, MP4, PowerPoint slide, PDFs, all of the common file types. I can change, put a backdrop here. So I'll give it a color. Let's just say blue. There you go. It's very simple. Now I'm going to add an RSS feed. That's going to be like a news ticker. And I'm sizing it up. Now on the right, we can put some different options as far as where the feed would be coming from. There's over a dozen options. Al Jazeera, ABC, BBC, US Canada, BBC World, CNBC. You can stream CNN World News, World Business, all of the different ESPN Sports, Cricket, MLB, NBA, Soccer. We've got also NBC, New York Times, NRG, Reuters, Entertainment, Health, Sports, News. list goes on. It's very flexible. If you have your own uh, RSS feed, copy and paste it, and it will generate here. So you can definitely in, incorporate any other feed. doesn't have to be the ones we have available. I'm going to quickly uh, put a little color here. And there you are. Now it's on the bottom. You can also change all of the font text styles of any one of our widgets. So you see here I'm selecting the color, which gives me some flexibility. And there we go. And I'll just wrap it up here by adding, say, YouTube. And there you go. And I can copy and paste it. So as you can see, drag and drop, very easy. I select the preview. Populate. It's hard to believe these tiny little bubbles of life could grow. There we go. If you have more questions, want to get a demo, need how-to um, video links, resources, or anything else, you can let us know. Simply send us an email, info at novisign.com. We'd be more than happy to walk you through the system, answer your questions. And um, thank you for trying out Novisign. We hope to work with you soon. Thanks.